In today's video, we are going to talk about the five biggest lithium myths and misconceptions I've come across on social media. Cue the intro. I soul power. Get you so. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Jeremy with isolpower.com. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for my most important lithium battery money saving tips. Myth number one, an amp hour is an amp hour. Now this is one I see all the time on social media and it drives me nuts. So here's the deal. With a lithium battery, here it is a Amped Outdoors 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. You can discharge this all the way down uh, to the BMS quits. So 100% capacity. This is a 12 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. See the difference in size there? You can only discharge this down 50% of its rated capacity because once you get below that 50%, you can't get that energy out of the battery without ruining the battery, okay? You'll ruin the battery's ability to retain charge if you run it down too low. So you can only run these down 50%. So in reality, you have six amp hours in this battery compared to usable amp hours compared to a 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. So when people say an amp hour is an amp hour, you really need to consider the usable amp hours in a sealed lead acid battery. That beautiful thing about a lithium iron phosphate battery is it has a little BMS inside it, and that's a low board battery management system. And one of the functions of that board is to provide low voltage protection for that battery. So you'll run that battery down, you'll get your, 10, your 12 amp hours out of it, and right around 10 volts, it's going to turn that battery off so you can't damage the cells inside. Sealed lead acid, they don't have that feature. Myth number two. Lithium batteries are not good in the cold. Most batteries don't perform very well in the cold. Uh, especially you get down in, into the teens. But a lithium iron phosphate battery is the exception to that rule. So most other lithium chemistries, your lithium polymers, your NMC batteries, you will see the discharge rate on those batteries really fall off around 14, 16 degrees, mid-teens. Uh, where the lithium iron phosphate battery, you're good to about negative 20 before you start seeing a dramatic decrease in the battery's ability to discharge. One thing to keep in mind, you're not going to have full capacity on any battery when you get down that low. Now in our next video, I will be capacity testing different types of lithium batteries in the freezer and probably sealed lead acid battery too, just to show the differences in the capacity and what you can and can't do with these batteries in uh, cold temperatures. Make sure, if you haven't done it already, Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. Myth number three, lithium batteries are not safe and they catch on fire. Okay, so we've all seen news reports, e-cigarettes blowing up, cell phones blowing up in people's pockets. Yeah, those were lithium batteries and they caught fire and they hurt people. These are not the batteries that we are dealing with. Those batteries use a prismatic uh, cell. So they're like pouches. Because of their size, they don't have as many safety features as a lithium iron phosphate. Now, a lithium iron phosphate battery is the safest lithium chemistry out there. So the BMSs have a bunch of safety features to prevent catastrophic failure of the batteries. That BMS is gonna provide short circuit protection. That's a big one. It's gonna provide low voltage protection, uh, thermal runaway protection. It's gonna turn the battery off if it gets too hot. Another cool feature is it balances the cells in the battery. And in reality, guys, your sealed lead acid battery is going to be more is going to be more prone to catastrophic failure than a lithium iron phosphate battery will. Now, a lot of companies they'll put lithium on their uh, battery. When you're when you're buying a battery, make sure it's a lithium iron phosphate battery, not a not a lithium whatever other chemistry. A lot of those batteries just don't have the safety features or the superior safety chemistry that's inside a lithium iron phosphate battery. Myth number four, you have to use a lithium charger for your lithium iron phosphate battery. It depends. Okay, so the last video we did a few tests with a lithium iron phosphate uh, charger and a sealed lead acid charger. We did some, some capacity runtime comparisons and we had very surprising results to say the least. So you can check that out in this video right here. I'll also link that video at the end of this video so you can keep it locked in here to the ISO Power channel and get all the battery knowledge you can handle. If you want to use your sealed lead acid charger to charge up your battery, your lithium iron phosphate battery, make sure you're, 
your voltage is in the mid 13 range. Um, that's really going to trigger the BMS. Let's say you drain that battery all the way. You have to have a little bit higher voltage to trigger that BMS to to wake up that battery if it's in low voltage protection mode to wake up that battery to uh, charge it. So just make sure mid 13s, 13.5, 13.6. That's the kind of charger I used in the video last week. Okay, guys, bonus fact for you. We're going to talk about charge cycles on a lithium iron phosphate battery compared to a sealed blood acid battery. So with sealed blood acid battery, if you're taking care of the battery, meaning you're not discharging it below 50%, you're keeping it, um, and you're charging it after every outing, those, those batteries really like to be fully charged as much as possible. Um, then you can expect about 400 charge discharge cycles on a sealed lead acid battery, fish finder, deer, fight, deer feeder type sealed lead acid battery. Now I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about your car battery, your crank it battery, uh, or those type of batteries. We're talking about this specific type of sealed lead acid battery. Now one thing to keep in mind, you have 400 charge discharge cycles with a sealed lead acid battery. With some other lithium uh, chemistries, you'll have four, maybe 600 charge cycles. With lithium iron phosphate, you have, they're rated for 2,000 charge discharge cycles. Now, to put that in perspective, if you took your lithium iron phosphate battery out and discharged it every day, it would take you, if you discharged it every day and charged it back up, it would take you over five years, about five and a half years to hit that 2,000 charge discharge uh, mark. Now, those numbers are based on 100% DOD uh, depth, depth of discharge on that battery. So if you are just going out for the day and you use 20% of that battery, you charge it back up, you're gonna get more charge cycles than 2,000 if that's your routine. Really guys, these batteries are gonna last 10 years, 10 years or more. When you hit that rated capacity of 2,000 charge and discharge cycles on a battery, you're still going to have 80% of the capacity, rated capacity. So that means on charge cycle 2001, this battery is still going to be good for 9.6 amp hours, you're st which is incredible. Now, for the most part, I don't think people can really wrap their heads around how long these batteries are going to last them. So 2,000 charge cycles. Once you get past that, you're looking at 9.6 amp hours capacity, five, 10 years down the road. Well, hell, that's more capacity than a sealed lead acid battery this size. And this thing would be 10 years old. I mean, it's a no brainer to go with a lithium iron phosphate battery compared to a sealed lead acid battery or other lithium chemistries. In the long run, it's even gonna be cheaper. And that's gonna bring us to myth number five. Lithium batteries are more expensive than sealed lead acid batteries. Well, yes, upfront cost, they are. But here's the thing to remember. You have to buy, here's the thing to remember. You have to buy five of these batteries to hit 2,000 charge discharge cycles before you have to replace this one. Okay, so five, $25, 12 amp hour, Sealed lead acid batteries is going to equal one $100 lithium iron phosphate batteries. But like I said earlier, in the long run, you will be saving money buying a lithium iron phosphate battery. You're basically paying for a six amp hour battery when you buy that sealed lead acid battery. Because of the use, because of what we covered earlier in the video, the usable amp hours in that battery. So my import, most important tip of this video is keep in mind, over in China, there's a ton of lithium battery companies just pumping out batteries. Unfortunately, a lot of them are junk. So you're getting all these new battery companies springing up all over. Seriously, you go look on Amazon and type in lithium iron phosphate batteries. And a couple years ago, there's only a handful of companies. Now there's just a ton of different companies. And I've talked to a few of these companies um, really, most of them, their customer service is, is, is crap. Uh, I don't get replies back on, on emails or um, they won't call me back 
when I have a question about their batteries. And when I do talk to someone, a lot of them just don't know much about batteries. And it's kind of scary. If they don't know much about batteries, how can they say the battery they're selling you is high quality and safe? So it's all, there's, there's a lot of bullshittery going on right now in the lithium battery world. So one thing you guys should be aware about. So my advice to you, if you see these new battery companies, oh, and these battery companies, they're copying and pasting other battery companies' websites. So it just happened to Amped Outdoors, where this other company, this other battery com this other company, took their battery information page and just copied and pasted and put it on their website, which is ridiculous. Okay, guys, my advice to you is no matter what battery you buy, um, Deco Lithium, Amped Outdoors, Battleborn, um, there's a, a few other ones out there um, that's been around for a while. My advice to you is use a company you've seen over the last few years because I, I've got a feeling there's going to be just a lot of these fly-by-night battery companies um, and just they're they're looking to profit on your ignorance so a lot of them put they'll sell their battery their lithium battery and they'll put just lithium on it they won't put the chemistry on it so word of advice just don't let them profit off off your ignorance stay informed stay tuned stay locked into this channel every week i'm putting out a new video about lithium batteries or do-it-yourself kits stay locked in here check out these videos if you're interested learning more about charging your battery with a sealed lead acid charger, that's the video you want to watch. Comparing a variety of lithium iron phosphate batteries on the capacity tester. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.